Hello guys, welcome to this overview video on the exciting and the fast growing field of the e-commerce and ERP, enterprise resource planning. In this session, we will explore how digital platforms are revolutionizing the business operations, how e-commerce has transformed the way we shop and how ERP systems help to manage the business's process efficiently. So whether you are a building or a budding entrepreneur or a further or future business leader or simply interested in understanding these fields, you are in the right place. We will also take a deep dive into the technologies and the strategies that power these industries. So stay tuned for the detailed chapter wise series after this brief introduction. So let's get started. At first, overview of the e-commerce. E-commerce refers to the buying and selling of goods or services using the internet. It has revolutionized the businesses by enabling the transactions without need for physical stores. The benefits include increased reach, reduce the cost and convenience for consumers. However, it is also comes with challenges like the security risk and competition. Understanding the rules and the regulations governing the e-commerce is crucial as cyber laws help to control the issues related to the privacy, fraud and intellectual property. This broad area, broad area includes the exploration of different business models, payment systems and security measures that make the e-commerce a vital part of modern economics. So technologies and wireless application protocols of e-commerce. E-commerce thrives on robust networking technologies that connect the businesses and consumers. The relationship between the e-commerce and networking is fundamental as platforms rely on the internet, intranet and extranet to facilitate the transactions. Key technologies like the EDI, electronic data interchange and the wireless application protocols enhance the mobility and allow the seamless communication across the various devices. The infrastructure required e-commerce for e-commerce include the secure servers, payment gateways and scalable networks. Mobile computing and wireless web accesses further extend the reach of e-commerce, enabling the businesses to reach the customers anywhere Anytime. Business models of e-commerce. There are different models of e-commerce based on transaction types and parties involved. The primary categories include B2B, business to business, B2C, business to consumers, C2B, consumer to business and C2C, consumer to consumer. Each model has its advantage and challenges. For instance, B2B e-commerce focuses on wholesale transactions and largest scale Procurement means business to business. Business means one man can buy the product from a production level industry and then the person sells in his shop from his own site. So this is business to business, not business to consumer. So in the B2C, B2C targets individuals like we go to shop and and uh, we can buy some foods for our eating. So this type of means the product is goes from business to consumer side. So B2B target individual consumers. E-governance as another fa facet of e-commerce refers to the use of digital platforms by governments to provide the services and engage with citizens, streamlining the process and processes and improving the accessibility. So now, E strategy in e-commerce. An e-commerce strategy is essential for businesses to succeed in a digital environment. Developing a strong E strategy involves identifying the business objectives, understanding the customer needs and aligning the business's technology with its goal. Strategic methods include digital marketing, customer relationship management, CRM, and integrating the e-commerce with existing business operations. A well-designed e-strategy ensures that businesses can effectively complete in the global digital marketplace, offering 
a seamless and personalized experience to the customer so now the four c's of e-commerce convergence collaborative computing content management and call centers are the key elements that shape the e-commerce landscape the convergence refers to the merging of technology such as voice video data into a single network collaborative computing allows the multiple users to work together on the same project through digital platforms which is particularly useful in the product development and customer service content management involves organizing storing and distributing the information effectively finally call centers which handle the customer queries are essential for providing the customer support and maintaining the brand loyalty supply chain management in the e-commerce supply chain management in e-commerce involves optimizing the flow of goods and services from suppliers to consumers e logistics and supply chain portals helps the businesses to manage inventories track shipments and processes the orders efficiently scm tools and frameworks such as supply chain planning and supply chain execution enable the businesses to streamline their operations the internet has had a profound impact on supply chains by increasing the transparency and improving the communication between the partners thereby reducing the cost and enhancing the efficiency e payment mechanism in the world of e-commerce secure and reliable payment mechanisms are essential payment methods like the credit or debit cards e checks and e cash enables the smooth transaction between the businesses and customers however these payment systems are vulnerable to threats like the fraud and hacking making it important for businesses to implement the robust protection measures security protocols encryptions and multi factor authentication are crucial for safeguarding the sensitive financial information and ensuring the trust in the online transaction so now the e marketing in e-commerce e-marketing is the use of digital platforms to promote the products and services this include techniques like the home shopping email marketing and telemarketing which allows the businesses to reach the consumers directly e-marketing offers businesses the ability to target the specific demographics and measure the campaign effectiveness in the real time as consumer behavior shifts toward online shopping understanding and utilizing the e-marketing strategies is key to driving the sales and brand recognition in the digital world so now electronic data interchange edi is a electronic exchange of business documents between the organizations it replaces the traditional paper based communication with the digital messages improving the speed and the accuracy EDI systems use standard protocols like the UN EDI, FACT and CX12 to ensure the seamless data transfer. This system is crucial in industries where timely and accurate information exchange is vital such as manufacturing, retail, logistic. Data encryption methods such as DES and RSA ensures that sensitive information remain remain protected during transmission. So now risk of e-commerce E-commerce also introduces certain risk primarily related to the security promoting the online transactions from the cyber threats such as hacking phishing and malware attacks is essential for maintaining the consumer trust firewalls cryptography key management and digital certificates are some of tools used to secure the e-commerce systems password systems and digital signatures provide an additional layer of protection ensuring that users and businesses can engage in secure transactions and maintain the data integrity enterprise resource planning erp erp systems are used by businesses to integrate and streamline the processes across various departments such as finance manufacturing hr and sales So ERP software helps the organizations to manage their operations more efficiently by centralizing the data and automating automating the key task. It enables the real time access to information improving the decision making and enhances the productivity. Popular ERP ERP systems like the SAP, Oracle and PeopleSoft 
So the future of ERP includes its integration with e-commerce platforms, mobile applications and cloud computing, allowing the businesses to become more agile and responsive to market demands. So thank you for joining me in this brief overview of e-commerce and ERP. I hope this session has sparked your interest and gave you a clear understanding of the fundamental concepts. We will be diving deeper into the each of these topics in the upcoming chapter wise videos. If you have any questions or need further clarifications, feel free to ask in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more detailed insight on each topic. Stay tuned for the next chapter and I will see you soon.